Welcome everybody back to Physics Together. In this chapter, we are going to start off by learning the types of forces and more specifically, we're going to look at what non-contact forces are, the first group, because we gotta know our forces. Okay, 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 enough, enough. All right, non-contact forces. We're going to start off, well, well there's actually three, three forces that don't require you to touch. Non-contact means don't touch also got force. The first one is our good friend called gravitational force. We use a symbol FG, or sometimes affectionately known as weight, W. You know, it's fine, whichever one you use. So this force acts on a mass in the gravitational field. What does the gravitational field mean? Now imagine we are on a nice planet Earth. It's kind of curved like that, eee, something like that. So because Earth has mass, it has a field. We affectionately call this the G field, pointing downwards always towards the center of a big mass. Because of this field, there will be a force on a mass, pulling it down exactly in the same direction as the field. We call this FG, or weight, always pointing to the center of the Earth, always perpendicular. Well, you can say the FG is also always perpendicular to the surface of the Earth. Because close to the Earth's surface, the field is roughly uniform and perpendicular to the surface. So we always conclude and say that, oh, weight, or also known as the gravitational force, is the mass of the object, let's say this m, times g, which is a constant near the Earth's surface only, okay? So this g here, note to self, this is a constant 9.81 meters per second square, or actually another way of saying this unit is newtons per kg because weight divided by m newton divided by mass newton per kg we will learn more about this in the further a2 chapter so stay tuned but anyway this one uh, this one uh, is at the actual unit of g anyway next force is called the electric force let's go over to the next box here that doesn't need to touch to act on you sometimes we call it electrostatic force but generally just electric electrostatic and we use the symbol f e sometimes we put a big e sometimes a small e but e for electricity now, while the gravitational force acts on a mass, electric force, guess what, acts on a charge. So let's say I set up an electric field that looks like this. And the field is pointing in this direction. Hmm, what does that mean? Ah? Well, don't worry, we'll learn more about this in another A2 chapter. But then you have a positive charge inside there and you have a negative charge inside there. Huh, how would they flow? Ah? Actually, let me switch, switch the positions a bit. There we go. What you need to know at this point is that for a positive charge, you see the direction of E, right? The electric field is pointing to the right. So the electric force for a positive charge is also pointing to the right. This is the electric force. For the negative charge though, it's a bit of a rebel. You see the E field points to the right. The, 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 the negative charge will experience a force to the left. Ooh, a little bit different here. Mm. And you will learn in A2 also, uh, I think the old syllabus has it a little bit, but you will learn more about force and fields but if you're curious to know, here's a sneak peek. Electric force, generally, is Q times E, the field strength. Don't worry, we'll save this for later in A2. Okay, next, one more A2 force. This one, guess what it is? The force of the pole of a magnet in a magnetic field. It's called magnetic force. And this one, we affectionately call it FB. Why B, miss? I don't know. <laughs> we, have the, we make the weirdest choices. So let's say you have a magnet. And this magnet has a north pole and a south pole. The field lines will generally look like this. Beautiful, isn't it? Like a spreading out, curvy, curvy, loopy kind of thing. Generally, we draw the field as pointing away from north. So out, 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 and into the south. So we're going to go into, 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 and into. Stay tuned. We will see this more in A2 as well. So all these three forces, G field, E field, and magnetic force, also known as B field, you don't have to touch the planet, you don't have to touch the, the magnet, you don't have to touch the charge, but you can experience a force. That's why we are sitting on our chairs and not floating up into the air. Something is pulling us down to the center of the Earth. Okay, so keep this in mind, three types of forces, we'll stick with gravitational force, but we'll learn more about every single one of them, more in A2. That's all for this video, see you in the next part where we look at contact forces.